Brothers and sisters, today is uh, 20th of January 2018. Okay, greeting in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's let the Holy Spirit lead me uh, to describe to you the new earth that I saw. Okay, and um, okay, please remember that I was taken to the new earth. I believe by the Holy Spirit because I see this white cloud. Of course, it's the Lord. It's, I believe it's not the Father. And I did not see Lord Jesus. Uh, uh, so I believe it's the Holy Spirit. It could be, you, we can say that it's the Lord, okay? But I did not see the face of the Lord leading me, okay? But uh, definitely it's the Holy Spirit. Whatever we see, whatever, uh, whatever we hear and so on, we, have, we need the Holy Spirit to carry us through to carry us to to lead us to help us and so on so holy spirit is inside us our body is the temple of the holy spirit we praise the lord so every time uh, most of the time i go to the new earth i'll go through this corridor and i see the white cloud in front of me leading me to the other side okay now come back to uh this uh a lot of um quite a number of times the lord brought me to the river okay brought me to the river and uh okay then i come to come back to the river okay one time the lord brought me uh in this boat okay i can say a ferry or the boat okay carry me to the middle of the river the main river and then in front of uh it stopped well, some way uh, in the middle of the river okay and the river is not very wide and so on. no 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 it's not that wide that is like a sea no 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 it's not that wide okay we don't need such big river <laughs> such wide river so in the middle of the river and i stop there and then at the uh, front of the boat okay of the boat i saw the portal from the boat going up <laughs> going up okay like a smoke going up going up and then it go up to the there, there's a portal up in the sky okay there's a portal round and bright light okay and inside the in the inner circumference of this portal you can see the color of the rainbow okay you can see the color of the rainbow and it going up to the portal and then go down the other side go down the other side then it came down to me where i was standing in in, in the room where i stay uh, in my son's house so this uh, the lord later revealed to me those who are coming back to this earth to rule with christ for 1000 years okay they they live in the city of new jerusalem is on the new earth but they come down through the portal to this new earth and just like every day you know they they come down to work and then they go up to the new earth okay just through the portal every day through the portal so it takes seconds to to do it that's all just take seconds it doesn't it's not like us here even if you want to you live very near to the hospital you go to hospital to work you have to drive at least a few minutes but 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 when you travel by portal it just takes seconds okay and then that is the way uh, uh, to travel from a uh, city of New Jerusalem on New Earth to the to this Earth to be king, to be rulers, to be leaders. Okay, to rule the mankind here on this Earth. And and then there's another thing is uh, what well, is in Revelation. You can go to Revelation chapter 21, 22. It's all there. All this being told by the Lord as he appeared to me with a blue beautiful cross and bright light. You know, when I was in the car uh, on the 17th uh, night time, uh, driving back from Guaf, uh, not Guaf, from Kitchener to Guaf. My son took me for, for evening dinner back from Kitchener to Guaf. In the car, the Lord appeared to me and we will have a wonderful, wonderful conversation and talking. The Lord revealed uh, the secret to me. Okay, just like Amos chapter 3 verse 7. Surely the sovereign Lord uh, does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. More than one, okay? More than one servants, more than one prophets. Okay, amen? Okay, still come back to the river. Okay, uh, the river is very important and uh, uh, there are fairies on the river, okay? They are doing a lot. They are having a lot of uh, loading and unloading. Loading and unloading, uh, okay? 
from the ferry to the to the upstream uh, to to the land and then to the from the land to the uh, t uh, to the ferry. So these are the food, are the food for, to supplies to the children of God. Okay, let's see. Uh, we come back to the farm. Okay, chicken farm, chicken farm. Uh, I I did not see the chicken there, but I the Lord brought me to see my eldest brother, who together with his uh, colleagues, you know, they were uh, they were taking care of the chicken. As you know, on the new earth, there is no disease, no viruses, and so on. So all these uh, chicken being raised is in the a very safe way, and it's organic. Everything is perfect. So uh, the Lord brought me to see my eldest brother when he was on earth before he passed away. Uh, he loved doing this uh, farming and you know, chicken farming. And then, uh, so on the new earth. I really did not expect that. The Lord brought me to see my eldest brother, my beloved eldest brother, okay? And uh, he, he was a Buddhist before. He was a Buddhist. He was worshipping this idol, Thai charm idol and so on. But before uh, he passed away from cancer, a uh, few months before that, uh, really praise the Lord. It is God's glory, okay? Managed to telephone him, managed to talk with him, okay? And then, uh, thank you so much to one of my nieces and also uh, evangelist to come to visit my, my eldest brother. And he accepted uh, Christianity, accepted Lord Jesus Christ, okay? So, praise the Lord. Uh, I saw him on the new earth and uh, he was uh, <laughs> topless, okay, with his colleagues sitting on the fence, sitting on the fence, okay? And uh, that is a farm, as I can see, it's a farm. And uh, he was so happy with all his colleagues and uh, I think I can see about eight of them together and they were laughing and talking and enjoy the time together. As you know, even working in the farm is not tedious at all because you know the chicken they take care of themselves just watch over them that's all and then okay let's come back to this loading and unloading so there are there are other i believe the god i can say i saw if i'm not wrong it's pig or something like that like cat home as well and uh, they are not near to the residential area, far uh, a bit further from the residential area, okay? And I also uh, saw the vegetable farming uh, on the, across the river. Across the river, there's a, a vegetable farming as well. So God is really gracious, provide all his children so you won't miss anything on the new earth. Honestly, you won't miss anything on the new earth. And everything on the new earth is organic, organic. And when city of New Jerusalem descend upon the new earth, okay, whether you pass away in an old age or whatever age, uh, okay, you on the new earth, you are still old. If you pass away in the old age, you are still old. But when the city, this is a secret the Lord revealed to me, when the city of New Jerusalem descend upon the new earth, and the bride and uh, the bridegroom bring the bride into the city of New Jerusalem, okay, to live there in the middle, there is a river, okay, along the river there are 12 uh how to say they got trees based 12 uh 12 uh type of crops each year and then one of them is the <clears throat> to heal the nation i mean to heal the people okay they are for healing and uh, even the fruit of life I believe when we eat the fruit of life, we will get younger, okay? So if you pass away in the old age, you eat the fruit of life and some other healing fruit, you will get younger and stronger, younger and stronger. Of course, you will not become a baby again. <laughs> no. You will, you will get younger and stronger up to a certain age, okay? Up to a certain age. You know that God's wisdom and knowledge high above anything, okay? Anyone. So you don't worry, you'll become a baby, okay? You won't become a baby, okay? Once I came to a place, you know, oh, um, is an open space, okay? I saw rows of chairs. And on the chairs, I saw, um, I don't know, near to 20 intercessors been praying up there. They closed their eyes and they pray and pray and pray and pray, okay? There were ladies and there were uh, men as well, okay? And uh, come to place of worship, uh, there was one, uh, uh, at least a few times, 
I came to the place of worship. And uh, let's see, we take, take one example. I went up a stairs. I think this attached to, to the place where I live, okay? And on the one side of the, uh, the, the, my house, okay? I, I don't, I haven't really seen my house exactly, you know? So it doesn't matter my house is whatever. The Lord knows most important is the kingdom of God. I care more about the kingdom of God, Lord Jesus, than myself, okay? That's me, okay? My family knows. I care about them more than I care about myself. So anyway, let's come back to this one. One side, I walk up, uh, 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 how to say, a uh, high step staircase it's a high staircase and i turned to the right and i saw uh lots of people sitting on the chair and uh, you know the wisdom came to me is that is sunday that happened on sunday so they are uh worshiping uh, they are listening to god and we don't need pastors or, or anybody to preach to us anymore that time on the new earth everybody can hear directly from god himself Okay, so the worshiping place is on the rooftop, rooftop, no roof, okay, rooftop, no roof, and could see other buildings as well, and directly here, directly from God himself. So this is something that we don't have here on earth, but up there on the new earth, there's no pastors, no evangelists to preach to us, to whatever. God speak to us directly, amen? And I went to a few other places the same, okay? Uh, the number of people in one congregation, in, the most is uh, 200 over, like one time the Lord said it's 240 people, okay? It's not like 1,000, no. It's only uh, 200 plus like this for each congregation. So we can see the Lord doesn't want every congregation to be so big. Just about 20, 200 over people. There's a good size, amen? Now everybody, as you know, going travel from this earth to the new earth i just one step go in that's all you know why because i have a portal that the lord provide to me in the year 2009 the, to provide me as uh, intercessors to pray for the world and also uh, we have a group of nine people praying for the world as uh, i'm the leader of this intercessory group so the lord provide me this portal so that our prayer will go directly to the throne of god okay so it will not be interfered in the mid air you know as you know in the mid air is the enemy we have this uh, uh the devil and all this in the second heaven so there's no interference when we pray so uh, that's why you know we can pray for the whole world let's come back to this loading uh loading already come to the factory okay so i've been taken to i can say a few at least one that i can remember very well a factory a big big factory everything is placed on the or on the floor okay on the floor and in the factory everything can be done uh, you put you put the the things on the floor it will just do it itself it will just do it itself it will screw up itself it will assemble itself Actually, I've been to a few places, you know. So everything been done automatically by itself. Even uh, the decoration, however, you put the things on the floor, or on the wall, it just go by itself, you know. So you don't need to uh, to 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 waste your energy, you know. So there's something just like in Genesis saying, uh, why Adam and Eve, uh, why Adam has to do farming to feed uh, his descendants and so on. Why we need to work hard because there's a curse on the land, okay? Curse on the ground because of what Adam have fall into, fallen into sin and Eve as well. So we just praise the Lord that when we go to new earth, we don't, uh, we live a very, very easy life, honestly. And I come back to 36 children again. So the 36 children that will be attached to me and the few ladies, pretty beautiful ladies, very sweet ladies, okay, they greeted me at the corridor. But there was one time, I think it was on Sunday, if I'm not wrong, I came to a small theater. A small theater that is attached to where I live, okay, attached to my building. And uh, there is a small theater and all these children, they were in the theater. And these children, I think it was on Sunday, all these children i think they were okay they dress like the a students like the the uh, the caretaker the the beautiful ladies caretaker they dress like still uh, a students okay of course they have this uh the skirt is long one it's not short one okay it's a long skirt and they they are very how to say 
the everybody have to dress uh decent okay and then the children also dress like as stewardess the same uh pattern the same clothes you know that kind of colors and so on so they were in the small theater and then when i went in all of them waving to me wave their hand to me and uh some of the children standing up you know and uh, they were so excited and i'm so excited to go home you know to to see them honestly i want to see my children i want to see my children waiting for me up there they are my grandchildren okay and these young ladies are my children too and i really praise the lord and uh he knows my heart he knows my heart you know and god is really faithful and great uh, gracious in jesus name amen